Hi, I'm Brian Van. I'm here today with a friend of mine and a teammate, Jeff Robel. We are at Mid Ohio Raceway here, 2011. Jeff and I cooked up this idea of going AMA racing in 2011, doing Super Sport over the winter. It was kind of our brainchild, I think. Started BSing, right? Yeah, pretty much. And when we did, you know, we had some goals in mind, and, and one of those was was getting the top ten finish the first year, and that's something that Jeff achieved today. I wish I would be the fast guy on the team, but it's not going to work out that way. And we always knew it would be Jeff, and I'm really proud of him because today, how'd you finish, man? Let's talk about this. Ninth place today. Um, worked hard at it. You know, we incrementally moved up. We weren't doing that great yesterday. Didn't go very fast in practice, but worked as hard as we could. And uh, all our improvements, step by step, took us to where we needed to be. Rode a good, clean race. No mistakes. Crew did what they needed to do and did an excellent job. All the hard work paid off. The bike was flawless. There's a lot to learn and it, it's fun. It's a big goal too. I mean, that's a real big achievement because this is some very stiff competition. To be able to make the race is a privilege. Exactly. 28 bikes, I think, on grid. And look around. There's We're next to a Jordan Suzuki semi-truck. You know, headroom behind us. It's. Yeah, this is the real deal. There's there's no doubt about it. And one of the things that I really want to talk about is is I want to talk about Jeff a bit. How old are you? 29. 29 years old. Yeah, you don't work, right? You're just a racer. This just is all a you racer. Do. No work whatsoever. Yeah, right. What do you do for real? I work in a body shop. So physical every day. Every day outside. Five days a week, man. Yep. So you work hard every week. All week. And all the bikes. Thanks to all of our team bikes. We'd like to, right now, let's take the opportunity to say thanks to DuPont, dude. DuPont. And 3J's Collision, where they, you work. They took great care of us. Uh, the owner, Jim Miller, came out today. Uh, his wife, Tammy, they all came out to cheer us on and see what they're a part of. And they've worked real hard at keeping this together, keeping our bikes looking nice, allowing me to do everything at work. And we've painted a lot. 20 something bikes now, and they all a look. A lot. We've done a great job, no doubt. DuPont gave us some materials, um, hooked us up with a lot of paint, a lot of real nice paint. I'd like to thank them. Without that, our bikes our wouldn't bikes look, wouldn't like, look this. like they did. No. There's no way. No doubt. Without your hard work, our bikes wouldn't look like they did. One of the things that's really key is this is this is a very expensive hobby. You know, you get a, a, a lot of great support, probably more than a lot of the racers do. Right? You know, we help you quite a bit, you get the technical leathers and, and bell, the helmets, a lot of great support, you know, tons, tons. but still, you got to work your butt off. At the end of the day, it's still a lot of money. You pay for tires, put bikes back together, you know what you happened fall. at Harbor twice. Yeah. Two crashes. You know, so now we're on top of our job, we put our bikes back together, they just got finished the day before we left, we actually left a day late because our bikes weren't done. I had to go to work and didn't have time to finish them. So our 4th of July consisted of putting a bike back together. Um, Ruben Frankenfeld, 35 Motorsports, built me a brand new motor. Had to put that in, had to go get that dyno tuned. That was... It's pretty amazing when you think about what, what it takes to, to, to get a privateer effort together, right? And come race at the AMA level. It's huge, and and even with a bunch of support, I mean, you're doing side jobs. You're putting brakes on trucks at night after work. You're doing whatever you can to get some money together to pay the I mean, the tire bill, and we'll tell you guys right now, it's, it's five sets of tires at least. Yeah. Right? Five sets of tires, that's $2,000. Right off the bat, not including race gas, anything like that, travel expenses. It's a very expensive undertaking, and for you to be able to do that, Get the bikes together, come here and be able to perform at the level that you have. We're proud to be a part of it. I'm, I'm proud of the, the thing that you and I have cooked up. Everybody on the team did great. Today. Everybody did. Everyone did well. I even did okay. You did great. Jake, the, uh, Jake did great. great. Yeah, this was a great day, but you know, you're the one that spotlights all yours today, dude. Friggin' top 10. I'm really proud to be a it's part of that. Keeping the momentum moving to VR. We're leaving mid Ohio with bikes intact. You know, the momentum is, is now going forward. At, couple steps backwards, turn that back around, and now it's time to push even farther, keep this thing going. This is a quick look through the eyes of Privateer racing AMA Supersport. I want you to take the last 
a couple of seconds here and just hit your sponsors real quick and anyone that you want to thank that's helped you out. I got to thank everybody that came out, my mom, all the guys from 3Js, Amanda Kelly, um, Rob Hancock, Matt Camp. They worked their butts off my bike. They were dragging information out of me. They're, they're trying to make me, you know, understand stuff. For them to decipher what I was feeding was absolutely amazing. Because not too many people could. Cause you went fast today, and it takes a lot of work to, to be able to do that. We went, yeah, three seconds faster than we did in practice this morning. And that was just with some changes that Matt and them cooked up this morning. Matt and Rob did a great job. They worked really well together. 35 Motor Sports built me a great motor. The bike was fast. Todd Karam from Motor Series helped out a lot. Helped keep this weekend together. There's Dunlop's making a pretty good tire. Yeah, Dunlop's making a great tire, technique, making a great suit. Um, I've had really good luck with them. Had a couple a couple bad spills and copped up in one piece. Great. Great Bell gloves. Helmets. Yeah, Bell. Technique gloves are second to none. Wearing the same pair all year. We've ridden, I can't tell you how many thousands of laps. The, the gear is perfect. Oh, it's been a great season, man, and it's I look forward to the finish, man. It's going to get better. Great. Proud of you, dude. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you.